hello guys welcome to my channel in this video i will show you four ways to boot into the safe mode two steps are for those who can access their pc and two steps are for those who cannot access their pc they are uh, their pc is unable to boot so okay let's start without wasting our time so first step for those who can access their pc you need to press window plus r button together like this or you can directly go to the search command okay and type run you need to type for ms config okay ms config and click on ok option once you click on ok go to boot tab here this is the option second one and check this box safe boot okay and you will see the minimal click on apply click on ok and click on restart you can perform many steps you can also troubleshoot your windows in the safe mode so let's wait now put your password here and we are going into the safe mode so we are in a safe mode you can perform many steps if you want to go to control panel or something else want to uninstall the program and want to troubleshoot your windows so this is the first option you can try okay so in order to boot into normal mode again you need to press window plus r button and type the same ms config okay and go to boot option and uncheck this option safe mode uncheck this option click on apply click on ok and click on restart okay your system is going to normally boot so this is the first step in the second step click on the welcome screen hold the shift key okay hold the shift key click on here and click on restart and hold the shift key until you get automatic repair screen after that click on troubleshoot click on advance option again okay and then click on here startup setting and now you will see the startup setting options you need to click on restart option now Now you, you can see the options here, uh, enable safe mode, enable safe mode with networking, enable safe mode with the command prompt. You can choose three options here. So I am choosing the option here, enable safe mode only. So I need to press F4 on my keyboard like this. And the window is going to again boot into the safe mode. okay just you need to put the password again okay so this is the again safe mode screen in order to disable the safe mode screen just restart it normally and you are going into the normal mode again So these two steps are for those users who can access their PC easily, okay? But I am going to show you two more ways to access their PC. These two steps are for those users who can access their PC. And I am going to show you two more ways to uh, enable the safe mode if you can't boot into the windows, okay? So how to enable that you need to forcefully shut down your system two to three times okay like i will show you how to forcefully shut down your system let me shut it down first okay as soon as you see the manufacturer logo and window loads you need to just shut it down let me turn it on and this is the power key here and here window logo appears and window is loading just shut it down press 
होल्ड द पावर की फॉर ऑलमोस्ट फाइव सेकेंड्स ओके आफ्टर दैट रिलीज इट एंड वेट फॉर टू टू थ्री सेकेंड्स अगेन टर्न इट ऑन एंड रिपीट द सेम प्रोसेस अगेन शट इट डाउन अगेन ओके रिलीज इट अगेन प्रेस पावर की and this time you can see the option preparing automatic repair option so now you need to wait then after that you will see diagnosing your pc so here we are okay now you will see the automatic repair options like this click on advanced options click on troubleshoot advance options and you can perform many steps but we are going to again in boot into the safe mode repeat the same process you click on restart okay and press f4 again or you can press f5 enable safe mode with the networking now login okay now you can connect with the network here i have set my meter connection that's why not getting the wifi options here you need to repeat the same process and you can download in driver and whatever option you want to access you can do that okay so let me restart my system normally and if you are unable to boot your pc with these three methods into the safe mode i am going to show you make a bootable pen drive this is a windows 10 bootable pen drive and insert it okay insert it into your laptop let me insert it okay i have inserted the bootable pen drive of windows 10 if you don't know how to make it you can watch my video in the playlist windows installation playlist okay you need to restart your system and then press the bootable key in my case it is f12 okay and in the hp laptop if you are using that this will be the f10 so let me press F2, F12. Now you can see preparing boot orders. Now you from here you need to select your pen drive here. This is my pen drive SanDisk, and I'm going to enter. And let's boot from the pen drive. click on next now here you need to click on repair your computer okay click on this option again click on troubleshoot okay now you will see the options like this but there is no boot options okay so how to enable the boot options you need to click on this option which says command prompt and now we need to hit the command okay we need to hit the command here the command is okay let me zoom in this and okay so i'm going to type the command bcd edit space this slash set give a space and this of this bracket default and close the bracket okay and then you need to type here the safe mode
you need to type safe boot space minimal okay you can get this command into my description box and also you can follow the screen hit enter now you will see the the operation completed successfully you need to shut down your system the okay you need to restart your system now the command is shut down space slash r means restart space slash t and then uh, t space 0 ok ok let me type this command only ok let me exit out from here and click on here exit and continue with windows 10 ok now you can see the safe mode is enabled now so these are the four steps to boot into the safe mode on your windows so hope this video is useful for you if yes then hit like subscribe and share thank you Thanks for watching.